51. What's up, everybody? Swan Gordon and Salty Mike. What up, what up, what up? Coming in from the Basement MTG. This is our first installment of Basement MTG Brews, where we're going to highlight some cards that uh, we are digging and we're playing on the ladder in Arena and that have a little bit of spice to them, too. Not uh, not not super meta stuff. I mean, you might see it in some meta decks, but uh, yeah. You have anything to say about that, Mike? Dare I say little spicy dads? Spicy dads. Little spicy dads? So, All right. So today we're going to be talking about our old pal Season Hollow Blade, which we are affectionately calling Season Hollow Dad because he does Season everything dad. you want a dad to do. He protects you from all the hardships in life. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we Stand focused in this... front of the storm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we focused on this card um, because I initially liked it because it's a nice big body. It's it's a low mana curve, and obviously the text on it says discard a card, tap season hollow blade. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Uh, I don't know about anybody else playing Arena out there about a month ago, but there is so many destruction spells floating around in red and black. And I was getting sick of seeing my creatures die. So I said, so much. screw it. Let's go to Season Hollow Blade. Um, and yeah, so that's why I've really been loving this card. Mike, how, how have you been feeling about Season Hollow Blade? Why do you want to play with it? I think it's uh, I think it's fun to play with it because it, it's almost... Your, your opponent almost thinks they can remove it. Like They're like, maybe I can just keep using enough removal spells to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. But you really can't. Yeah, he just stays. He stays. And at the end of the day, you know, you may lose a bunch of cards, and they're gonna lose a bunch of cards by trying to get rid of it. And most of the time, in my experience, it seems like uh, Season Hollow Dad will continue to stay on the battlefield, which is what is very, very key about that specific card. Absolutely, and I think that the three damage early in the game is something that can be important to start whittling your opponents away. And then, as you'll see in the clips that we're gonna play. Once you start strapping some stuff onto the dad, uh, he can get pretty mean and get pretty big. So we'll move into some clips and talk about Season Hollow Dad. So the deck list that uh, I'm rolling with today is a little deck list I like to call Boros. Yes. And uh, it's had a lot of iterations. It started off being like Boros Warriors. Um, but really what hasn't changed, I'm always rolling with four seasoned hollow dads. It's just a, it's just a great card. It can be a finisher. It can be an early play. Um, you know, I like season hollow dad with the mall of sky claves. Obviously it's obviously great with Ember cleave. Um, I threw some selfless saviors in just to give a little bit more protection to my hollow dads, but really it, it goes great with the luminarch aspirant too. Um, you get an aspirant on the field next to season hollow dad if they don't get rid of the aspirant you can just keep pounding counters on hollow blade and you'll see in some of the later clips how that just winds up being a great great thing to have at your disposal how do you feel about this deck mike it looks pretty good to me i like the amount of gas that you decided to go you really wanted to, to push that damage through really quickly robert of the rich looks really nice in that that slot absolutely yeah a lot of two drops but uh they do bring the gas and they will fire up opponents for sure all right so here we have hollow dad against some gruel action uh we're always going to try to get it down turn two so we can just keep crashing in for three damage and protect protect the hollow dad uh i find against gruel and mono red the three damage ends up being quite a bit honestly and really all we're waiting to do here is to play the game and attach from all the Skyclaves and or Embercleave to the Hollow Dad so we can just protect it and just having it do so much damage. Uh, this was a fun little thing here because I attacked in and opponent doesn't want to block Hollow Dad here because there's no point because I'll just discard a card, protect it, and kill their creature. So they leave it unblocked, I put Embercleave in, and now it's crashing in for eight damage unchecked which is huge. So unless they have artifact removal, uh, Hollow Dad's gonna stay alive with Ember Cleave on it. And then opponent obviously quits, they give in, Mercy, Hollow Dad with Ember Cleave. It's hard, it's difficult. Same game here against this uh, Gruul aggro deck again. Uh, we're gonna put Aspirin in. Aspirin with Hollow Dad has been really, uh, it's been a really nice favorable combo. You just keep pumping counters on it. Again, they just can't get rid of it. 
Uh, here comes Skyclave. This has been a great card with Season Hollow Dad, too. It makes him fly. Who doesn't want a powerful dad that's indestructible just flying over the creatures? Flying over everything and just destroying the opponent. That's what I like. That's definitely what I like. Uh, so the board gets a little convoluted here, and we're going to keep pumping counters on Hollow Dad, of course. And Hollow Dad's going to keep swinging in. And this is kind of fun because, uh, you know, with the equipment on him, one way is they can get rid of it. So they do. They get rid of the mall. But unfortunately for opponent, I have a nice little Ember Cleave in hand. They declare blockers. They only put one puny little plant to protect a Hollow Dad. And they meet their fate, of course. This was a fun one um, against some Orzov life gain action. Actually a really cool deck. But again, we're just going to play Hollow Dad turn two always. We've got some extra protection with the Selfless Savior in here. Uh, just extra protection in case we don't feel like discarding a card. We can always sack the Savior and, and make it indestructible. But again, combat is just a pain for your opponents. Here we've got two Luminarch Aspirants on the battlefield. And we're just going to put it all on Hollow Dad. There's really no reason at this point in the game not to. We'll make it bigger than all their creatures. And again, even if they want to like double block or something silly, there's no point because uh, we can just make it indestructible and kill both their creatures. Again, pumping Hollow Dad, just going to keep the pumps going. We're going to keep swinging in with just the Season Hollow Blade and make the opponent make a decision here. You know, do you want to block and lose your creature while I keep mine? We get later in the game, we get some more damage on board. And now we've got ourselves a 6-6 six, six Angel flying in the air, which is nice. As you can see, we only have two mana this entire game, pretty much. And this is nice here. Shatter the Sky obviously doesn't affect us. Um, any destroy spell, we welcome. And we got to draw a card there, which was nice. So we'll just keep coming in with Hollow Blade here. Keep making our opponent block. We keep our creature now just because it's huge. Uh, they've got some big stuff. This board got pretty wild here. But again, Ember Cleave on Hollow Dad. Uh, as we know, Ember Cleave is just a game ender. Usually, anytime doesn't really matter. And on Ember and on Hollow Dad, it's even better. So we just do a ton of damage, which is fun. Which is always fun. This game here, I saw a lot of Obosh when I was playing. But again, we this game was funny because we kept a hand that was like four lands. Uh, a bone crusher and a hollow dad and i was like yeah that's great well turn three we drew into our mall the sky claves and again mall the sky claves and hollow and hollow dad is great it's great against terror it gives it first strike even if not it's five damage if they want to block fine here terror has to target the bone crusher because if it targets season hollow blade it doesn't matter because we'll just discard we're keeping our hand full we're swinging in we're making our opponent get rid of their resources to block uh yeah it was great terror is a, a really good card doesn't do much against hollow dad especially when it's flying luckily we crossed our fingers when they cast this genesis ultimatum and they whiffed and we ended up taking the game, which is always nice to see. Here, same deal. Turn two, get the hollow blade out. Turn three, get the skyclaves on it and start swinging in the air. You're putting your opponent on a clock and it's saying you need to get rid of it or I'm going to crash in for five damage every single turn. Um, and it, this was a mono green food deck. And I don't know what they have in this deck to get rid of hollow dad, honestly. Um, yeah, they got a Feasting Troll King down. Didn't really matter. Again, we're coming in with Hollow Blade over the top. They have no flying. We're putting Ember Cleave on it, and we're finishing the job, which is nice. Uh, the Ember Cleave was quite a lucky draw there, though, I will say. All right. So I wanted to take a little bit of a turn with my deck. Uh, the biggest the biggest problem that I saw with Hollow Dad is, is the possibility of running out of cards and resources. So I like to play the four ops, we play the four frantic inventories, and I really, really, really love the combo of the staggering insight on the hollow blade was probably the most powerful combo, I think, in my deck. The lifelink, the, the card draw was honestly the biggest thing because if you traded with a card or a, a creature before you know you can then either move it out of the way and, and connect in the face and draw another card 
<clears throat> or you just continue to gain life, which puts you at a big buffer zone if there is something that happens later. Yeah, I love Staggering Insight. I love Staggering Insight as a card in any deck, just in general. I just think it's a fantastic card. And with, with Hollow Dad, you're absolutely right. It's huge. Huge absolutely sure. so one of the one of the things that i also know was was very hard for hollow dad is glass casket so i actually played the glass casket yeah I but like the brazen that. the brazen borrower was another big one because when i come up against yorion to get rid of glass caskets i would have to use brazen borrower to get my hollow blades back just one of the things that i needed was to keep hollow blade and that's one dex that was very hard to get around but i think this deck succeeded in doing that all right, so we're going to take a turn here with the old Salty Mike deck. I went a little bit more of a controlly route. Getting Dad down on turn two is still the game plan. Now, I want to hold up a little bit more. I want to play Counter Magic. I want to play Glass Caskets. We're going to get rid of anything that is in our path and is going to keep us from success. So we're going to get rid of the Lotus Cobras with Skyclave. Skyclave Apparition is a huge card to pull just about anything in front of dad that's going to be bigger or going to progress the game farther for the opponent that we don't want to see so here we see the power of dad discarding a card getting rid of the lotus cobra the dragon fire he can't try and get rid of the hollow dad because they know it's just pointless and then they're still going to try again to get rid of dad but once again discard a card it doesn't matter to us. We keep a land in our hand for the turn to make sure that we can swing in against the Cobra. Keep Dad on the field. Right here, we're free and clear. It's down to top decking. I go pretty bold to put him on a quick clock with the, all that glitters, and then we can hold up a land and make sure that Dad sticks it and claims victory. Claiming the victory. <clears throat> Here we play against the mono red deck where we want to get Hollow Dad out as quick as possible. We have to go into a little bit more of a defensive mode. So we keep Dad up, we block the robber, the rich, and then we're going to make these trades that are going to keep coming out in our favor, trying to build our mana. And then eventually we're going to turn on the gas and start swinging in with Hollow Dad. We feel like we're in a good position. They're missing their lands. We get the Brazen Borrower out as quick as we can. I want to get that flying damage because I know that there's not going to be anything that they can deal with in the air. We take all that glitters. We want to really make sure that this pressure is big right here. So they have to block. The, <clears throat> the Thorbin is still not going to do any damage. Keep up the counter spell. Close out victory. Moving on to the next one. Same game plan. Hollow Dad has to come in quickly. We got Sentinel's Eyes. We're going to go for the little bit of the Vigilance against the Death Touch because I know I have an Essence Scatter in hand. Got to make sure that we're just going to counter pretty much whatever is going to hit the board next turn so that our board is still free and clear. They're going to try and get rid of Hollow Dad, which doesn't matter. We only need one card, and that is the Staggering Insight. Once it hits the board, we can get Lifelink. We can draw cards. We have a Brazen Borrower to bounce and get rid of anything that's going to be in front of us. They decide to put down a questing beast trying to deal with that, not even swinging. And all we have to do is hit Brazen Borrower, put it back in their hand, staggering insight, drawing cards over and over, and it just makes Hollow Dad relentless. He will not stop. They can't even use the Murderous Rider to try and get rid of Dad, so they're going to try and get... The Skyclave Apparition to get a blocker just to try and save themselves for another turn. They figure they try one last shot with the Blood Chief's Thirst, saving Brazen Borrower, bouncing the token back into Oblivion, swinging Hollow Dad, closing out another victory. So, my overall impression of Season Hollow Blade was quite good. Um, I, I really loved it in the Boros build. Um, I know like Boros is, is kind of fringe right now in the meta. I know Mono White sees a lot of play. Um, I think Mono White's seeing play now in um, Historic, and I think that some Aura decks are seeing play in Historic too. But I, I mean, I, I, I love the card. There were some, there were obviously there's things, Skyclave Apparition, Glass Caskets, 
um, eat eat. Uh, what's the what's the exile? Yeah, and those just like really um, extinction event. That's the one I'm extinction thinking of. Event too. Those things really wreck. Obviously, wreck Hollow Dab, but they wreck every creature deck. I don't know if there's anything that you can any creature you can be like. This thing's great against uh, Skyclave Apparition. Everything just gets wrecked by it, and so does Hollow Dad. But I mean, the three damage swinging in on on turn three, and then the ability to suit it up with auras or equipments to me make it a pretty good card. And I and I do find that sometimes it becomes quite a headache uh, for opponents to have to deal with, especially in combat scenarios. Um, yeah. where they're choosing to block and lose a creature um, or where they, you know, it's a one for one when you have to discard a card to keep it alive to removal, but it feels good. It always feels good to skirt a Blood Chief's Thirst or an Eliminate or something like that. Uh, what were your overall impressions of, of Season Hollow Blade? I think that Season Hollow Blade is a great target for the auras that normally go on other creatures and you're gonna lose the creature and you're gonna lose the aura but going on season hollow dad you have your ways of keeping hollow dad on the field and thusly keeping your enchantments in play which make your creature just that much better even longer than i think other people can survive i think that was a one of the biggest things about hollow dad that i found very very uh successful yeah, you get into a sometimes you get into resource battles and your your build for sure having the card draw with staggering insight, frantic inventories, all the the plethora of card draw spells that uh blue is 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 uh, open to definitely just keep season hollow blade on the battlefield. Absolutely. I found myself though, I'd rarely run into situations where I would be running out of cards to play uh to discard to season hollow blade because if I felt like I had it down with uh let's say I had it down with them all the skyclaves on it, nothing else really mattered. Um yeah. it, it's it's basically like they even they either get rid of it with an exile or like a skyclave apparition and then I move to plan B or I'll just discard my entire hand to keep it alive and swing in for five in the air so, yeah absolutely so i mean I, like we said these are going to be spicy cards um they're not going to be your your it's obviously season hollow dad i don't know if it's essentially a build around card um i found in my deck that now i uh, it's not like the the focal point of the deck i have a more cohesiveness and obviously i'm playing red so ember cleave is my game winner but uh but i like it and i and i would think that if i build anything with white in the future i would probably slot it in to see how it runs um for sure yeah i think it's a solid creature to just throw in for most white things honestly yeah yeah um okay so that's gonna wrap up the basement brew our first basement brew with season hollow blade uh, we'll have more of these videos coming and i have been swan gordon and he has been salty mike and say goodbye mike yeah absolutely if you guys like what you see hit that like button Hit that subscribe, slap that bell, do all the stuff you already know. Come find us on Twitch, basement underscore MTG. Link will be in the description below. Thanks for coming out. Oh, yeah. Thank you.